what's up guys welcome to your fifth android tutorial and today we are going to make activity which perform edge calculation so i'm going to empty activity and i name my project to edge underscore calculator and again i am going to xml file and here I drag and drop first edit text and I name uh, change its ID to et edit text here again I drag and drop a button below this edit text and change its ID to button calculate and third thing which require here is edit a is text view and i change this rg to text view calculate and now in text here i change this text to android hint and I type here enter your bar bar shear and uh, for gravity and I am giving here it android gravity gravity to center and I copy this line and also paste it in other two for button and text view also and I also paste it in text view And I change button name to find edge and I remove this text view and again you see in design the uh, first um, I change this width and uh, the width of text view to fill parent and it's height to 50 density pixel and in design you see here <coughs> it's not fill parent why it's not fill parent and now I, I I'm going to my act, uh, main activity of edge calculator and here I initialize the variables of button, text view, and edit text. First of all, button. Button calculate. And second one is edit text. <coughs> edit text calculate. And third one is text view. And now I'm going to on activate uh, on create bundle method and here I first type the variable name of this button this is a button calculate equal to this is my button and type here find view by ID
find view by id or dot id dot <coughs> button calculate mm, this is the id of this button and second one is edit text to calculate equal to this is the edit text and again find view by id or dot id dot and i give the id name is edit text here and last one is text view find view by id calculate tv calculate and now i work for my button when i click on this button button dot set on click listener and i type the here this and here you see a red bulb click on this and we select this second one option type ok and now it's good and here i need a string mm, the variable name of the string is input here equal to added text variable name of added text dot get text dot to string and second one calendar And I click Alt and Enter button and select my and select this second one option. Now the error is removed. Equal to again calendar dot get instances. And here I need integer for current for current year current year equal to the variable name of this calendar which is calendar with c small dot dot get and in parameter i type calendar dot year and again I, type, I need here integer the variable name of this integer is current age this is equal to this current year minus here I type integer dot parse in parse integer and and in, in its parameter i type the variable name of this string actually we are getting our mm, birth year and uh, then i minus uh, this code minus from current year to that year which we input in my add in our added text so now we show this in in text view so text view dot set text i type your age is The variable name current age so paste it here first uh, I think it's remaining I type uh, here if uh, if if statement and I uh, and I copy this code and paste it here if this code is less than 2017 